Okay, now that I'm actually recording this... <laughs> Funny reference. So this DX level is kind of a combination- Oh, okay, um, oh, uh, oh, oh dear. Surprised. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Take out the trash, like that. So yeah, this level is kind of, DX level is kind of a combination of the first level, where guys are planes, and the windiness of uh, Amelia's level. I, I want- forget which level- Oh, you were saying? You I forget which level you unlock. Was it Mimi's level? I believe it came from Mimi's level because the Tower of Power came from uh, Amelia's level. Right. And I feel like you might have uh, done, done used Regazza planes as the uh, textures, and that guy didn't want any of Chimera or Chelsea. Why do I keep Never doing once. that? <laughs> Into the abyss. But I feel like you, one reason you might have done this is because, given the airship, there's only one of the airship. It wouldn't make sense if you made an EX level based off of the airship. Yes, that ma that does make sense. That's probably what I. Uh, that was cut off, what'd you say? That's... that's probably what I was thinking when you did that. Huh. Or when I did that. <laughs> <laughs> and Cyclops. I swear, this... This scene seems more painful than I really think it should be. I love this scene. It's my favorite. <laughs> I can imagine. Because, just... <laughs> I don't know if it's because I... I don't know if it's because I play Corpse Party and it- or I've played Corpse Party and it, I expect it to be more gory or what, but- ah! It pops out. It just pops- Ow! And now you have an eye. Yeah. Freaking Cyclops eye. I, that, that had to have been painful. No, no, I'm sorry. It's dancing. I'm- I'm sorry, I just- I- I can't imagine. She has no mouth, so she can't scream. Is that similar to how Mouthface has no eyes, so she can't see? She can see. She sees with her, with her mouth. Because logic and reason. Also, the the hardest level in the game, other than the Pirate Fortress, or well, hardest. Uh, it's the level I like the least. Everyone's least favorite level is this level. Yep. Yep. Spikes. And I fail at double jumping. Yay. Out of the four main levels, this was the last level I started. Huh. No, no, I did the intro level before this. The intro level later levels I did. Oh, wow, now that I think about... Ah, so you didn't design the intro level first. I remember you saying that, and also I fail at harpy winging. I actually did, um, the tile set that you see in Windy Way was actually made for Windy Way, and I recycled it for the intro. Ah, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Technically. I mean, I, when I started making the Windy Way tile set, I, fe I feel like I intended to use it for the intro level too, um, but when I, ma I made it for Windy Way first. I getcha. And in the background, I also recycled for town. And there's me demonstrating the eye. You can see, uh, you can see things when you shake the earth that can be destroyed. Pretty nifty. Yeah, for looking for invisible walls, because while well, some of them are marked out, at least some less so. Yeah, and then we have those annoying squids that had to be nerfed. Yeah. I remember the days when they were not were more than just one hit point wonders, and it was pain. Lots of pain. Even with just one health, they're still kind of annoying. Yeah, but less so, and it's a change I greatly welcome. Most people do. You can see the spikes going one extra block right next to the door. Yeah, the fun fact, though, that tower with the spikes on top of it right before the door 
got me a lot in my optics. I gotta do is just dash through it. Easier said than done. Dash. So I noticed that for that little alcove, uh, the camera takes the camera goes a bit wonkers when you enter it and then when you exit it. Yeah, when you leave when you leave a room, it automatically squares the camera at the like on the gr on the screen grid. Um, and then it tries to read when you come back out. Punch. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Yeah, I. I forgot how I just, uh, got out of stone there and then just simple punch. Give him the... You forgot the power-up. Well, technically it's Give not a power-up, but we'll come back for it later. And also, this is the hardest boss to hit with the... Or mid-boss to hit with the treasure box since she blows wind at you. That's not very nice of her. Eh, she's a wind mage. She fights the way she does. Can't really hate her for that. In this video. That does beg the question though, why is she not in Windy in Amelia's airship? You would think that he wind in Amelia's airship. That would be You're cutting out a lot there, what'd you say? Uh -huh. Already wind in Amelia stage, that would be redundant. <laughs> would it be doubled or just it would not be actually shown? Mm, yeah, actually it would be doubled. It would go twice as fast. Yeah, because what would happen is um, there's already an object that's controlling the wind active. When the mage uses her attack, it will create it and then it'll be double wind. I can see double how wind. that could be a pain. I push you faster than you can walk. Yeah. It destroys the wind. It would actually delete both wind at the same time. And then... Ah. Out well, of the fire one is actually the first one I made. Huh. And it's cool how all of them do at least have different shot patterns rather than just being recolors. They're, yeah, they're pretty much kind of like the same enemy. I didn't really intend to do that at first, but then I was like, hey, that'd be kind of cool, so then I did it. And at least they're not and exactly the same. No, they, have they all have different elemental attacks. And that, and also different shot patterns. It means that I can put them all together into more than one at the same time. Yep. Because it would be redundant otherwise. Also, this gimmick is pretty cool with the retracting multicolored spikes. I've been told by a lot of people that they didn't like this one very much, actually. That's probably one of the reasons that people don't watch the retract the spike pattern. Instead of letting you go fast, you have to like wait for the spikes. People don't like waiting too much. Well, that's what the harpy wing's for. Seriously, it, in that last room, it the harpy ring comes a lot in handy. It is pretty good. It is a bit painful if you don't have it, but, well, that's why I did Amelia's level first. This level first is kind of a bit harder because the platform is a bit more precise. It really pays off. Yeah. At the very least, you have an infinite air dash in your repertoire. It helps. Look at this perfect mermaid. She's the best one. I noticed you have some kind of backstory for her going on after, like, that's explained after the after you beat the game. Yeah, if you talk to some of them, they'll give you a bit of back, a little bit of backstory sometimes. Um, I, I know Amelia has one, um, and I know Pacifica has one, and Ovi and Mimi don't really. Mimi just Maybe wants. Game. Mimi just wants to hang out at the haunted house. Mimi just wants her box and her castle and her shades. Yeah, M Mimi's probably M that sprite that the animation that Mili 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 Mila. Meh. 
Ugh, my mind's on Freedom Plant now. Uh, that- the animation that Mimi has after you beat the game in the village, I- I like that one with the sunglasses and everything. Yeah. I made that for the credits and then ended up recycling it, because I didn't have an animation of her just being out- The one that they used- they used during the boss fight still framed, it wouldn't work for an NPC. Speak so I used that instead. Speaking of boss fights, this boss, how does her dashing work? It's completely random. She'll pick whatever side she wants. Then I guess I'm just really lucky with her usually coming over on the right side. I think the only one that's not random is when she does doing her bomb attack, where the spinning bombs come out in the center. That one, I think she always comes from the left. Yeah, that one's a bit of a pain, although I did notice that uh, I... the. The first time she did it during this battle, I was actually able to destroy all of them with a well-timed and positioned uppercut. That's pretty good. Techniques that will possibly never be able to be replicated because... Freaking precision, man. The pro strats. Yeah, though, maybe another speedrunner will be able to pull it off, like, every time they try. Speedrunners don't need it, they'll just kill it before she gets to use the attack. Well, what if someone tries, uh, the, the, any percent category, not race mode? They'll just her and she'll die instantly. You can actually, when she does her first dash attack, you can actually, whether, it doesn't matter what size she comes from, we just hit her with the chest and it's like three damage each. So she dies pretty fast the chest. They all die pretty fast at the chest. I'll have to bear that in mind for the refights. Also, I took a bit on this uh, select stage select screen because one, uh, at this point in time, I was looking up the guy a guide to Chimera to find what I had missed, which is a plunger detonator, and two, I kind of messed up on the video editing and left this screen left it on this screen for too long. I really but, like your little idle animation. Yeah, and getting up here the proper way, by pogoing. The pogo strats. There is- so you can pogo. There is no other way. I mean, technically you can use the harpy wing, but there is no other way. No other true way. It's true. It's just, you can get it before the 102, but if you know, if you go in for, for harpy wing first anyways. Yep. Because. I don't know why you had to come to this stage twice, and you're dead. And glitch, pausing Goodbye. wild death. 